<laughs> Did you guys like that cloaker? What's up, everybody? Spaz here. Welcome to my channel. The Gage Weapon Pack number two and update number 23 are live right now and available for download. The Gage Weapon Pack is $4.99 on Steam, in US dollars, that is. And this video, I'm going to do my, it's a first look, it's a first impressions video. I'm not going to be doing anything too in-depth in terms of analyzing the LMGs, giving you a build that will complement them, really explaining the, the new melee mechanics or my recommendations too much. I will reserve some of that more in-depth content for different videos, but I want to give you a general idea as to what to expect in this update, as well as what to expect with the gauge weapon pack number two. So first, we need to go to our inventory, and you'll notice we have access to three new primaries if we purchase this DLC. And they aren't just normal primaries, they are LMGs, light machine guns. Yes, you heard it here. LMGs are in the game. Let's take a look at this Brenner here. This is, in my opinion, one of the best modeled weapons in the game. Overkill did a really good job with the modeling of these guns. I really enjoy the look of the Brenner. Uh, and we also have access to the RPK, another good looking weapon. And then we also have the KSP, another good looking LMG. Now, what I want to point out with these really quick, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the performance of these. You will see some LMG gameplay in just a second. But when you equip these as your primary, you will have a 20% movement penalty. So keep that in mind when you're trying to find cover, when you're trying to find, or when you're trying to move bags, you want to be running with your secondary because the movement penalty is pretty noticeable, especially if you are decked out in armor. Another thing to know with this, the attachments are somewhat limited. And the only reason I say that is because they do not have optics. You cannot ADS aim down the sights with these LMGs, you have to hip fire them. You can ADS in a sense, I guess. If you right click, it zooms in a little bit, but it's not going to be an increase in accuracy like you would expect from an AR when you go ahead and aim down the sight. So keep that in mind when you test these bad boys out. You'll also notice in your inventory that there's a new section, a melee section. Some people pronounce it melee, but I've always been taught it was melee. Anyways, we have access to new melee loadouts. So if you have the DLC, you will have access to four knives. If you don't have the DLC, update 23, you will be able to use your standard buttstock or the bottom of your pistol like you would otherwise or normally, but you also have fists now and the fists. <laughs> are some of the most comical things in this game so far. There needs to be a versus mode so we can utilize the fight club in the basement of nightclub. But this punching of things is just <laughs> hilarious. Um, I want to point out with the knife stats there, you're going to see two different numbers. And the reason you're seeing two different numbers is because this has a new melee mechanic. You can either one click your melee key and it's just going to do your standard swipe attack, or you can hold it to create a charge, which is going to be a more powerful strike. That is why you see two different stats. You're going to see your basic damage when you just do kind of a swipe or uh, slap attack, I guess you could call it, and then the damage for when you hold that charge. Each weapon has different charge speeds, and I will go over this in different videos. I think this is really cool. I, I want to use these in, in stealthing because I think it's going to be awesome to uh, jab somebody with a knife when you're stealthing framing frame. But we'll touch on that in other videos. Other things in the inventory we need to talk about. Obviously masks. There are four new masks. I went ahead and I, I got the Arabian Princess somehow. It's not a bad mask. I, I am looking forward to the Rambo mask. One of the subs in our general uh, chat in the Steam group was, was rocking his Rambo mask. And I absolutely have to unlock that one. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, so there's four new masks. And just like with every other D DLC, there are four colors and for patterns. There are some new achievements. Some of them look pretty difficult. One includes killing a bulldozer in a knife fight. So we're gonna have to get the AMR out, break the faceplate, and go ahead and charge a strike to his dome. Other things to talk about with this update as we go ahead and switch over to some gameplay. You're gonna see some LMG gameplay. Cloakers are back. That's the big thing with this update. A lot of people from Payday the Heist have been waiting and waiting for this. And I can tell you, I haven't played Payday the Heist. A lot of you know that. I regret that life decision to never pick up that game, having experienced Payday 2. That was probably top five worst life decisions to never play Payday the Heist. 
But anyways, cloakers are back, and I can say that these are the best specials in the game right now. They're a lot of fun. Uh, according to a tweet that Goldfarb sent me, there are a couple different types of cloakers. He referred to them as an assault cloaker or the hider cloaker. And the one you saw in the intro there, it seems like he was a hider cloaker. We found one on the nightclub. They kind of wait for you to turn corners or whatever it might be. And be aware of these bad boys. They will knock you down in one strike. I've had martial arts aced out thinking it would prevent them from knocking me down in one blow, but I think there is a special attack that they have that makes them immune to martial arts being aced out. I will test it and let you guys know, but be aware of these guys. They're not too bad to take down, honestly. It seems like they're a little bit easier to take down than a taser, but you have to pay attention to audio cues, just like you would with a taser, right? You know a taser's nearby when you hear his gun start to charge. You know that a cloaker is nearby because you will hear kind of a buzzing noise, and that is them just waiting to pounce on you. These guys are a lot of fun. And I, that's coming from somebody that hates jump scares. That's why you don't see me play scary yeah, games. games I, I hate jump scares, but in this game, it's it's a new mechanic, a new gameplay thing that, that I'm in love with right now. Uh, I, I'm sure I'm gonna change my tune when I fail a mission at the last minute by being attacked by one of these bad boys, but it's a lot of fun, they're awesome. Now in terms of the LMGs, just to give you a basic idea of what to expect, they're very inaccurate. That's the first thing you're gonna notice. It's very difficult to take down targets at long range, even if you are burst firing. From my limited testing, it seems like these are, are better suited for close quarters maps, uh, areas where you're going to find a ton of enemies that you can just hold down the trigger and mow them down. It's not gonna be the best weapon for maps where you kind of camp back and try to snipe as they come close to you. You're gonna be want you're gonna wanna be in their face with these guns because the accuracy is pretty low. Damage isn't bad, but I need to do some testing in terms of the uh, stats on these weapons and analyze them a little bit more. And I will be doing a entire LMG review video to kind of explain the differences, give you some tips and tricks on different mods that will fit this weapon or these weapons better, different builds that might complement the LMGs a little bit better. But so far, I am enjoying the LMGs despite their, their inaccuracy. One other thing I want to note out with the LMGs, um, fully loaded aced doesn't really help you out that much. These things consume a ton of ammo, so you're going to want to be specced into Enforcer with ammo bags because even with fully loaded aced out, you're not going to be picking up like a propor proportionate amount of ammo, it seems like. Maybe that's something that's going to change in the future, but I just wanted to point that out. Don't bother acing out fully loaded just yet because according to Candlejack and from even my testings the the ammo that you pick up with that skill aced out is a little underwhelming but overall guys this DLC is really awesome if I forgot anything check the description for more information just wanted to get this out there it came out today and I want you guys to have access to some of the information you would need in terms of the DLC but that's it for this one guys more Payday 2 com content coming out this week. I have a leveling guide for Infamy, as well as some rep weapon reviews for these LMGs. Stay tuned for that. Hope everybody's having a great week. Thanks a lot, guys. Yep.